Yo, what's up? Okay, so this is the Brio 500 at night. Right now, the lighting is coming from the monitor. And yeah, so this is how it is at night. No lights on. And I'm going to show you with the lights on. Give it a second or two to adjust because right now it's just auto adjusting. So right now, this is the lights on. Let me know if you see any difference. Is it sharper? Is it cleaner? I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. The Brio 500 is actually good enough or rather decent enough to work without the light because of the ring light thing going on if you have your monitor turn, turned on but if you want to just have one monitor where it's all white and then it'll just light up for you accordingly honestly with the Brio 500 you can actually just make do with the lights from the monitor itself but if you're not happy because you know it's dark and it is grainy if you can see somewhere here it does get kind of grainy and kind of funky but what you can do is use nvidia broadcast so nvidia broadcast is pretty cool so if you want to get rid of the noise and stuff you can always use nvidia broadcast okay so what i'm going to show you is if you use brio 500 with nvidia broadcast and if you're unhappy with the noise behind you can always turn on video noise removal which is in beta which doesn't really matter turn it on pow you can see that it's cool it's nice noise so right now if you can see there's noise at the back if you turn on the video noise removal which is in beta pow. let me know if you see a difference leave your comments below yep so this is off this is on if you go a bit further, there is this thing called background blur. You can turn it on and you can see there's bokeh at the back. Nice. So this is the background blur on, background blur off. On, off. Okay, so this is like you can adjust to the max. So you can see it, it, it's, you know, it's kind of weird. But you can also adjust it accordingly to how you want. So right now this is max and it goes down in increments if you want to adjust accordingly. Yeah, you can use this if your background is very messy and you just want to, you know, just adjust accordingly. Okay, this is max. I think it's a bit too much. You can always, I'm just going to adjust it down. I think that's fine. It makes it look a bit more DSLR-ish, give it a bit more bokeh. Yep. So in order to use Nvidia Broadcast, right? In order to get the maximum quality from it, make sure that there is a good separation from you and the background. Yep. So what helps is having good light to separate you from the background. Or you can just make sure that as long as there's a good contrast of you and the background, or rather the ages, then yeah, you do, you're going to do pretty well. So aside from background blur, as it's called background replacement, you can select whatever image that you want or you can have a background removal in case if you're in a game like this you can also have the background blur on and then you can always turn on the video noise removal which helps the quality a bit more you can always have the background blur on and if it's still too noisy you can always turn on the video noise removal yep makes it a bit cleaner this is off this is on because it takes out a bit of GPU power, you can only have like two on. So you can always choose if you want to. Oh, and one more thing. With uh, NVIDIA broadcast, right? There's this thing called eye contact. Yep, I'm, I'm not looking at screen right now. Yep, it's kind of freaky. I'm looking at the side monitor. Okay, I'm going to look at the hand. It's not super perfect. As you can tell, it doesn't work on Chinese eyes. Because you know, Half the time, <laughs> half the time we're not even like our, our eyes are like, you know, you can can barely see the eyes. So make sure that you are not sleepy. Make sure that you have your eyes open so that this eye contact beta will actually work. So make sure that the eye contact beta is on for you to work. So I'm looking down. Pop. Yep. So if it's on. I'm looking away from the monitor right now. Yeah, and it's looking at... <laughs> it is so freaky, man. It's so freaky. Aside from that, uh, you got a vignette, which... 
which doesn't do much honestly and like <laughs> okay yeah so if you're in a zoom meeting you can always turn on the eye contact beta in case you're reading something on screen in case you're reading something on the monitor right now and then you you want to like make eye contact with the viewer yeah it <laughs> it's so freaky and it's really pretty good yeah it, it's super freaky I'm like so if you have your Brio 500 because uh, it provides decent quality coupled with Nvidia broadcast you'll get pretty nice quality footage if you want to okay so this is the Brio 500 quality at night yeah so this is how it is at night and yeah well thanks for watching hope you'll join me in the next video where hopefully i'll actually review the zve 10 you know I, i'm still in the process of doing it yeah there's a lot to talk about but yeah thanks for sticking around see you guys next time